Okay, people, I told y'all I was gonna do it. I told y'all I was gonna show y'all my lawn care setup. Now these are, well, these two right here are my two main, main mowers. Uh, which one I use the most? Definitely the Proline, come on. But you know, I got the Time Master. Anybody know, well, this is not even the mower I started with. I started with a toy, I mean, mm, I started with a Troy built 21 inch push mower. I started with a Troy, this is not a Troy built, but I started with a mower like this. It was a Troy built 21 inch push mower. It, it was, it was only, it was front wheel drive. Uh, it was front wheel drive and I don't have that mower anymore. It's actually, I don't know if I want to tell y'all, it's actually still at my ex fiance's mom's garage it's over there in her in, not her garage her shed and it's been over there since forever now and it don't look like i'm ever gonna get that more that more back i would love to have that more back because that's actually the more i started with but anyway i'm off topic these is my three main mowers okay we're gonna start with the mowers and i'm gonna tell y'all i'm gonna go down i'm gonna show y'all my truck and weed eaters and all that blah 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 okay so i started well yeah, I started with the Troy built. Then I had got this. I saved up my money from my from my job that I used to work. I saved up and I got this. Y'all already know the, the Total Time Master, dude. Like, it's a legend. Um, the only stuff that been going wrong, the only stuff that ever broke on this mower is this is this belt right here. It's the only thing that ever broke is this belt. This belt broke, and eventually this belt broke. But this right here, this belt that pushes the engage to engage the blades is this belt always breaks after like 25 hours that belt is gonna break i don't know what it is anyway so i got this more i'm gonna tell you and a lot of lawn care a lot of lawn care companies don't like to tell y'all what they pay for stuff stuff is a secret and no this stuff costs money to make and and it's costs money to maintain forget that i'm gonna get y'all the real okay so i got this off facebook marketplace 750 dollars for this i didn't i didn't probably i didn't probably made probably three thousand dollars with this mower okay we're gonna go to the pro line now i say it up now i had a, a fw15 i sold that but the fw15 and this the fw15 and this mower helped me get this mower uh the fw15 i sold it I got, I got tired of walking. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I got tired of walking. It was this big yard that I cut and I kept and I had to walk it and I had to recut it because the lady was, whoo, the lady was one of those customers. And I was, and that was the end. I was like, dude, I was like, that's it. I'm done walking. I had, I had the money. I think I, I can't tell y'all how much I had, but I was like, I'm done walking. So I eventually got this. Oh yeah. By the way, this guy, this got 80, 80 hours on it right now. And I put about six on it before I put that up there. So that's got around like 86 hours. So I got title, I got title walking. So I went and got this baby. This baby cost $5,000 and it was a well, it was well worth it. Um, I got it. It had like, I think it had, I don't rent. I don't know, don't quote me, but it might've had like maybe not even, it might've had not even 40 hours. It was brand new. None of the, none of the, it was like steel paint. It was, it was like, it was like brand new. And it had, I wanna say it didn't even have 40 hours on it, but now it's got 186 and, and it's been wonderful. The best walk behind, hands down, hands down. So that was five thousand dollars, you know. I I love that more. It do got it like it like I say. Everything has its flaws. It do got flaws, but other than that, wonderful more. Now I got this more because this more broke down. So I was like, bro, I need a, I need a backup push mower, and I got this. And this was five hundred dollars. I don't know why it was five hundred dollars, but it was like five hundred and forty some dollars. And I don't even think it's worth that. I think this mower is probably need to be like a $300 more, but because it's a Honda, it's just that expensive. So we got that. So that's my three main setup.
Dad, you can see my dad sharpened my mower blades. So I got a set of mower blades ready for me. I, I, that's a Craftsman post all over there. So we got that. Uh, shout out to Hippo. Shout out to Hippo. Uh, we got a tiller right here. As y'all can see, I used that one time. I need to get rid of that. Uh, okay, a blower. We got a, I got an extra blower right here. This work, I'm going to tell y'all stuff that works and don't work. So we got that right there. We got this uh, Husqvarna uh, blower, handheld blower. That works. It's a back, back, it's a backup. We got my old Makita. Remember I love the Makita four-stroke weed ear? Yeah, that engine blew up. <laughs> it was something. Oh, yeah, we got my chainsaw in here. I barely use this. I don't want to idle. So we got that. This is not lawn care, but this is the bike I almost killed myself on. I got hit by the car. And over here, we got my little mulch pile and dirt pile right here. We got some leaves that I put over here. We got ramps, ladder, okay? And more ramps, more ramps. We got anybody, do anybody remember the Pulani blower? This is like my little junkyard too. So we got the Pulani just sitting over here. It don't work. We got the old mama people, the four stroke uh, Husqvarna weed eater gear. Don't work. This is the thing. I'm very private when it comes to showing off my truck because the world, as you know, is crazy. And people see this truck and they be like, that's the guy. That's Joe from Cut Squad Lawn Care. That's the guy I need to rob or mess his truck up or whatever. So I'm kind of skeptical on showing the truck off, but it's nice. It's a two. I'm going to look real quick. Real quick, look right there. Boom. Okay, it's a 2014 F 150. It had 120,000 miles on it when I got it. Uh, four wheel drive. Uh, it's a sport model. I don't know why they call. I don't know why they call it a sport model because I don't see nothing sport about it. Only fastest it can go is 100. Yeah, so we got the low one of the logos up there. Yeah, so rest in peace, my friend Drew. Rest in peace until we mow again. Anybody seen watch my videos, they seen that. So yeah, gotta get this fits. So yeah, so you know, so little little details on it, you know, that make me stand out from the rest. So the back here. So yes, my truck bed needs to be cleaned out. So we got a step ladder right here, trash right here. <laughs> We got the Toro Time Master bagger. Uh, we got a tarp. We got grass seed over there. We got mulch in here. Gas can. Five gallon gas can. We got, uh, uh, I forgot what this is called, but this is for that. This is an edge cutter. We got a cedar. We got the bagger for the pro line. Uh, mixed gas, regular gas. Uh, put this down. Okay, we got my blower right here. Now, this is my backpack blower, my everyday blower. The Husqvarna 150BT, and I shortened the uh, I shortened the uh, the thing so it's shorter. So yeah, we have this over here to lock keys in. So I use this to, if I got keys or something, I lock the keys in here. So we got that. Okay, my, my main weed eater, really my only weed eater, is the Husqvarna 525L. Right there, boom. Uh, we got the Makita. This Makita stick edger is a beast. It's a four stroke. This is the only four stroke weed eater that I have that still works. And it's, it's a beauty. It still works and everything. Uh, so yeah, the, oh, the trimmer rack, I got this from, I got this trimmer rack from uh, eBay, $35. I drill holes and bolted it on, boom. And, and then these locks is from Lowe's, Master Locks. So we got that. So this trailer, this trailer I got for $450. It's a four by eight. And I paid, yeah, I paid $450. I put new tires on it. So yeah, yep, tires are still good. So I put new tires on it. Uh, and. I think of going trailerless and 
probably next year because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sick of the trailer too. So it's a four by eight, paid $450 for it. Uh, this weed eater was $329. This was $450. This was $350, but I didn't pay for this. This was a Christmas gift. No, birthday gift. So I didn't pay for that. Uh, oh, and the truck. The truck was $25,000. So, yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I know. We, 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 we keep, okay, what's in the truck? Uh, okay, I'm joking. So I got stuff back here. I got a spare tire, motorcycle helmet. Uh, weed eater strain. This is the weed eater strain I use for right now. Uh, I got all kind of stuff in here. I got extra oil. Uh, I got my uh, hedge trimmers, the, the cold bolts. I love them. Nice little hedge trimmers. These was $99 at the time. These are going for $150 now. So, geez, so they raised their price up. I got Jack. I got uh socket sets this is an impact i got a uh that little thing over there with the battery that say 24 volts right there that is a uh handheld saw a handheld electric saw uh we got stuff in here we got extra batteries we got a blade for the saw uh we got a we got other stuff in there we got a, another uh tool set uh leather jack i'm uh, not leather uh uh jean jacket we got hats headphones we got some of this i got extra bolts and screws we got tape we got all kind of stuff all kind of stuff that you need so yeah so that's basically it people oh yeah we got i got some more signs right here cars right here what else is in here string uh, another little tool set we got stuff in here, um, oil, just all kind of headphones. So yeah, so that is it, people. We got the logo, one of the logos on the truck. Decent weed eater, a decent mower, and a decent blower. That's all you need. You don't need a big. You don't need a twenty five thousand dollar pickup truck like I got. I didn't start out with that. I started out in a Jeep Renegade. <laughs> And I was putting a lawnmower in the back. I was putting, actually, I was putting this in the back of the Jeep Renegade and I was cutting grass. I was putting my other lawnmower in the back cutting grass and basically worked my way up. Then I had a pick, then I had a, a pickup truck that somebody let me use. And then after that, I, I traded my Jeep Renegade in and I got that pickup truck. Then I got the trailer and blah, blah, blah. So I've been working. I'm sorry to say, y'all, I've been working my ass off. I worked my ass off. Um, y'all don't even want to see my old boots. My old boots are tore up on how much I was walking. So you got to put work in. This job is not for everybody. Lawn care and landscaping is definitely not for everybody. Because if it was for everybody, everybody be doing it. You got to have some type of passion, some type of drive to be doing stuff like this. Because you just can't go out there and just... You know, I'm gonna just go out there and cut grass. I mean, you can, but you know, you you, you can't do you can't do a, a, a you got to do a good job for people that want to be like I want that guy to cut my yard. So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I was working. I've been working my tail off. I made a decent amount last year, and I'm trying to you know I'm trying to triple that this year. So I think with this setup, I can. This setup last year, I got the 50 houses. So yeah, so this is Joe. With, say it with me, people. Cut a squad, lawn care. And I'm out.